In brief, we say the Homsu, my respected brother, is not only limited to war, but sin. You understand? But we said that is for everything with value, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Anfal, verse number 41. And we said the beneficiaries of Khumsun includes uh, paying a portion in Allah's way, so it's paid for to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for things to sustain his activities. Number two, his messenger. The number three, the near relatives, the albeit of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallama, the orphan, the needy, and a person who has fallen away from hometown without money to take him back. We also say that the Sun brothers who consider Homs as just Ganima, the war Bootsi, we said no. Homs is not only limited to war, Bootsi. We said no. Homs is not only limited to war, Bootsi. But everything with value, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also spoke about it in Surah Nisa, verse number 94. From there we said, from which things do we pay? Homs. We said, according to Al-Bayt alayhi wa sallam, is paid from seven things. Profit of surplus, income, legitimate, wealth, which is mixed with uh, which, is, which is mixed with illeg illegitimate one. We said also the mines and minerals, the treasures, the precious stones obtained from the sea by diving, uh, the spoils of war. Uh, so those are the things from which we pay home soon. We said how is it calculated? We said it's paid at the end of the period of 12 months after trading period. It may be a salary, Anna, you have to count from the time you started working. And in case you remain with some, Profits is paid from this profit. So you get is paid like uh, so you get this sim uh profit. Let's assume ten thousand dollars over so you get this sim profit like maybe ten thousand dollars times twenty percent and you get two thousand dollars. So it's two thousand dollars which must be paid out as comes my respected brother or sister. It must be paid to uh, it must be paid to a marija -a, or a representative of marija -a, of your marija -a in your country, my brother or sister. Homes and others, we said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, at Atagab in verse number 17, Yudha'ifhu lakum wa yagfil lakum. He increases, doubles our sustenance and forgives us. And we said when he forgives you, he changes the bad actions into good ones. In Surah Furqan, verse number 70 to 71, my brother or sister. And when he forgives you, increases your lifespan, makes it rain, blesses you with pious children, gives you paradise, safeguards you against enemies, among others as we saw. In Surah Nuh, verse number 70 to 71, and also Surah Hud, verse number 3. I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to increase our knowledge instead of following what we don't know. Kindly keep sharing up plastic person. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.